Hi, my name is Gabe, and today I'd like to show you a couple of different ways to achieve microtonal tuning in Logic Pro X. So the first way um, is in regard to audio files. And so as you can see here, I've recorded two um, different piano sounds, and I bounced them separately. So we have the C and the E separately. Um, and with this, if I wanted to tune the E to be some different amount, lower or higher, um, in this inspector view over here, um, and if this isn't showing up, by the way, you can press the, the letter I on your keyboard and it'll pop right up. So in this area, we have the coarse tuning and then the fine tuning. So coarse tuning will actually make it, um, will change it on a macro level. So if we wanted the E to go up three semitones, now it's gonna sound like a fifth, but we don't want that. We just want the microtonal stuff. So I know to lower it by some amount, and then it starts to sound really good. So that's option number one. The second option um, is a manual way of doing it. So if I have a major scale in MIDI here, That sounds great, but maybe I wanted to tune things really specifically. Um, what I would do is I would bounce in place, and then that doesn't matter too much. All that matters is you get this one. And from here, you can go ahead and chop up any note that you want to tune differently, depending on the overlap. And what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm dragging while the file is selected, and I'm pressing Command T. And this is enough for now. And if I click on this, we can do the same thing we just did. So let's say we wanted the second scale degree to be 50 cents flat. And actually we can have the last half of the scale also be 50 cents flat. Right. So that's option number two. The last option is actually the most um, most interesting because it is so universal. Um, this would be going up in the top left corner of your computer, and right next to where it says Logic Pro, there's a button that says File. And I know you can't see it right now, but it's, I promise it's up there. And when you go into File, you can go to, down to Project Settings, and then all the way down to Tuning. And from here, you get, a, you get access to a really exciting window. Um, and on it, as you can see, you can, set your, um, you can set what frequency you tune A to, but you can also change it from equal tempered to fixed. And in this case, Logic has already listed several, <laughs> um, several, several great examples of micro, microtonal tuning. And, but for now, we're, gonna, we're just gonna set our own, which is in the user. Um, and so let's say we wanted the second scale degree to be 50 cents flat again. We wanted the major third to be minus 14 cents. We wanted the perfect fourth to be minus two cents. We wanted the fifth to be 35 cents, you know, anything like this. And then this will actually affect how all the MIDI works. So I want to make sure that this is right. There you go. Okay. And then... Let's take a listen. Pretty fantastic. Um, so in my opinion, these are the three best ways to achieve microtonal tuning in Logic. Um, there's also this kind of option in certain um, Logic instruments where you have the option to change um, change the tuning. So in this example, this uh, this Rhodes kind of thing has this main pitch option, and that's just super general, um, still in 12 tet, but it would be plus or minus 50 cents or whatever you want. But these are the main ways that I achieve microtonal tuning, and I really hope it helps. 
All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye.